And now a pitch on the way. Three ball, one I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch. Time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Crowd gets up for the three two. As anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Next will be the designated hitter Giancarlo Stanton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Sam Hilliard. First pitch of the at bat. Here comes the 0 1. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Ready with another 0 2. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Popped him up. Torres is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Garrett Hampson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. The bat, the third baseman, Nolan. Here's Nolan Arenado. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Runners on first with one down. And this is taken for a cold strike. And he's not in love with that call either. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Fly ball to straightaway left. And that'll get over the wall. So forget about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Number 54, the Walters Chapman. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Chapman, a 32-year-old veteran, he throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and a two-seam fastball. Fouled away. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. And this is taken for a cold third strike. So they go right at him with the base open, and it pays off. And now there are two gone in the inning. And he'll step off here and make sure he doesn't have any ideas over there at third.
first pitch on its way. Hit high and deep to left field. Looking up is Hicks. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. Now that no left field. To plate now, David Dahl. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Hicks will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. He comes in 0 for two thus far. Wade Davis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. There's the knuckle curve laid off. 1 and 1. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball 2. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Now the 2-1. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3-1 and one pitch. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Payoff pitch one more time, and he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now battle. Digging That's in and looking for more, Mike right. Ford. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve 1 and 2. From the stretch. Now he lifts a high pop up drifting into foul territory on the right side and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two misses ball two. the plane as he set down for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away and that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. Now 
As a look, now the pitch. That's a ball. And a ball, 1 0. Oh. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. And he will hasten his way back to first where he's in there safely. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. One and one, here it comes. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. High fly ball out to straightaway center. The Shields is there, two gone. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Miguel Andujar will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 41, Miguel Andujar. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Owen won the count. Owen one count the pitch skied into straightaway right. Hilliard will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And Ryan McMahon digs in. Next. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. A ball and two strikes to count to Ryan McMahon. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Ryan McMahon is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Now the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Uh, fooled him badly there. I mean badly. It's one and two.
tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 2-2 one more time. One out, nobody on. And a full count for James McCann. Three balls and two strikes. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and... All in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Stepping no, into the good. box, Delino DeShields. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. And now the third baseman sneaks into position to cover a potential drag bunt. From the stretch. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is under it. And that ends the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. We got time. And he'll step off. Now the pitch. Aye. Here's a drive out to left center field. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. Gardner not stopping, he's headed for third. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go ahead run. Carlos Estevez comes on now and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied no save opportunity here into the box now Torres as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. The 0-1 started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. He's going to have to take a deep breath. A little bit ultra-aggressive at the plate right now after fishing at the first pitch and looking like he was going to commit on that one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the run is going to score from third as they've taken the lead here in the ninth. The right number and now Aaron Judge. Judge. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball. Just missed. 
He must have a really good eye at the plate. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Now, time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. A runner at first with no outs here. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One out, one on, and a one-run game. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Oh, fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now that to the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Fouled off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. The one-two. He's running. He's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Sam Hilliard, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Here's the pitch. Oh, and one count, and the pitch lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Now he'll step off and rethink this.
Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One, one ball, two strikes to count. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Hampson. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. And now the third baseman sneaks into position to cover a potential drag bunt. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Bases are empty. One man out. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. to two balls and two strikes now. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Striding in for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Tommy Kingley takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. He's set and the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. After it is Gardner. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. And it's a 10-9 final at the end of this one. So the Bronx Bombers scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Aroldis Chapman takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. Ten runs on eight hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Rockies, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Aroldis Chapman. His record is now